Plus, puppies with a purpose. You're going to see how Guide Dogs of America is changing things during the pandemic to make sure these pups are ready for their new assignment. Well, it can take about two years or so to train a working guide dog. Stopping this uh, training now because of the pandemic could have a really big impact further down the road for somebody who will eventually depend on one of those dogs. Yeah, guide Dogs of America had to make some pretty big changes yeah. quickly, and we showed you recently the video of a new litter of potential guide dogs meeting their puppy raisers in Silmar through a drive through Now, joining us now to tell us more about the challenges and benefits of this new way of training is Carol Ann Highness. She is the K Canine Development Lead at Guide Dogs of America. And Carol Ann, you're going to make a really quick transition to yeah. online training. We understand these puppy raising sessions are now done over Zoom. What's that been like for you? So it's been a little different, but we're really grateful. Our puppy raising community has really embraced the online format. Um, they've had to learn some new technology, and we have too. Um, and we've really had to um, communicate better, but we're getting, we're, we're having fun with the Zoom calls and really making them more like a group class, watching like videos and then being able to like, pause those videos, which has been actually really a, a, a side benefit of what's happening is we can pause the video and really see what the dog is, is doing and what the handler's doing. So we've actually seen a little bit of benefit from it there's nothing like actually getting your hands on a cute right dog, but, um it's it's we've embraced it and our puppy raising community is such a, a a giving community and they really care about our cause so they're they're really willing to work with us yeah, you've adapted and uh, puppy raisers you know they're supposed to help socialize the dogs and teach them how to do that they get them used to different sounds and smells experiences they take them around town Places are closed right now, though, during this pandemic. So what are they doing instead? How did they adapt to that? Yeah, and we want to make sure that our puppy raisers are safe and our staff is safe. So we've really come up with some great ideas. And actually, our puppy raisers are making obstacle courses. They um, are sending in videos. We started a Facebook page just for our puppy raisers, and we've had some challenges. And right after we put out a challenge, like, uh, teach your dog to go to bed there is 30 plus in the first five minutes of people teaching it and putting it online. So they've really embraced that technology. We've also done things like Google search some sounds of traffic so that you can play that while your puppy is eating its dinner and really desensitize it to those types of noises that it'll in two years time, these puppies will be the guide dogs and service dogs that, that serve our community. So we really, um, had to think outside the box, but really I think that we're we're still setting a really strong foundation to make them guide and service dogs. All right. All right, Caroline Hines, thank you so much from Guide Dogs of America. Thank you for joining us and good luck with all that training. Yeah, those puppies are thank so you. cute. Yeah. Thanks, Caroline.